In this video, I want to show you how to use the Pro Mockup templates from the Vector Lab in Adobe Photoshop. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up one of these templates, the Photoshop PSD templates, with a file open command in Adobe Photoshop. Next, you'll go to Window Layers to open up your Layers panel, and this will help you navigate the template. And you'll see there's an example graphic layer in here which you can turn the visibility on or off. And let's go ahead and replace this main graphic here. So I'm gonna go into Adobe Illustrator where I have some graphics and I'll take this one, just select all and then copy it. And let's go back into Photoshop. And I'm gonna highlight this example graphic layer here. It's a sub layer of the art layer. So let's go Command V and we'll paste this in as pixels. You'll see how the graphic is automatically cropped out when we've pasted it into this art layer. So what I wanna do here is let's just scale it down to a good size for a chess graphic. Um, the other thing to note here is if you paste your graphic outside of this art layer, it's okay, it just won't be cropped out. So. If, if you don't have an off placement graphic, it's okay. But you may just wanna drag it into this art layer. That way you know it's in the right place in the template. And let's go ahead and you'll see the um, example graphic layer here is still on. So I'm gonna turn the visibility of that off. And the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is let's, let's put in a little sleeve graphic right here and have it go off the edge of the shirt. So we will be using that cropping function. So back into Adobe Illustrator. Let's try this graphic and let's, let's try like a gray. So let's copy this, go back into Photoshop. And we still have our art layer highlighted here. So let's go Command V and paste it in. And let's scale it down. Now with these sleeve graphics, it helps if you turn it the same angle as a sleeve. That's gonna help it look like it's in the right place. Printed on the shirt, just kind of wrapping around the sleeve. And we'll hit return or enter to apply it. And I think that looks good. You'll notice we also have a neck label layer. So let's drop this arrow down, you'll see the neck labels in there, and it's also cropped out inside the collar. So you can see our nice neck label graphic is in there, but let's say we wanna replace this with a different graphic. So let's take this neck label graphic we have here, Command or Control C to copy it. Let's go back into Photoshop. Let's make sure to have this example neck label layer highlighted. Let's go Command V, paste it in as pixels. You'll see it's really big but it's automatically cropped out. So we need to just scale it down and I'm gonna hit return or enter to apply it. You'll see we, we have both neck label graphics visible. I'm gonna turn off the, the example graphic and let's invert that art so you can see it. Now the next thing you may wanna do is there's a heather layer in here. So this emulates a heather fabric texture like a poly cotton or a tribling tee. So um, you can also adjust the heather contrast if you'd like to make it more or less contrasty. I'm just gonna leave it the same and we'll close out of this properties window. I'm actually gonna turn the heather layer off. So we'll just turn off the visibility. The next thing you may wanna do is change the fabric color. So, you know, you could change this fabric color to white. You just go all the way to white Click OK. Now you'll see there's a fabric shading contrast layer up here. So this controls the lights and the darks of the shading of the ripples of the shirt. So if I zoom out a little bit here, and if I double click on this fabric shading contrast, you'll see I can move this slider around and make it look way too dark, or I can lighten it up and Mainly you wanna mess with the leftmost slider and the rightmost slider. So the rightmost slider controls the real highlights 
and the leftmost slider controls the, the shadows. But I think that looks pretty good for a white shirt. But let's say we want to do a black shirt. So what we'll do here is let's double click on this fabric color thumbnail and we'll be able to change our color in here. So we could change it to like a red or a blue, but don't go all the way to black if you want a black shirt. What you're gonna to wanna to do is do about an 80% black, click okay, then go back up into your fabric shading contrast, double click on this again, and you're really gonna ramp up the leftmost slider to get those shadows to show up on this dark shirt. And the other thing we can do is let's invert that neck label art so you can see it. And let's go back to the sleeve graphic and also brighten that up so you can see it. I'm just gonna adjust the levels of that. So I think this is looking really good. The other things you may wanna do is you could turn on or off the drop shadow. It's on by default. And one last thing, you can change the background color. So let's say we wanted like a, a light blue background, or you could, you know, say, pick one of the colors in this shirt. Let's do like a orange from that graphic. You could save a copy of this file, or you can go and export it as a JPEG or a PNG. I recommend a JPEG if you're gonna be showing this, say on your website or on social media. So we can go file export, save for web, and we'll choose JPEG and then just save this file. And that's how to use the Pro Mockup templates from the Vector Lab in Adobe Photoshop.